When you start a new project, you know how it feels like to start with a blank sheet of paper. You're thinking about a lot of different things. Things that could cause you to waste a lot of time trying out various options. Suppose there was an easy way to pick at the solution for a few seconds to see what to do and what not. I have to say that I found the paper that describes the problem in great details. It is right here. My name is Ruslan and as a head of data science team, I am aware that deep learning experiments can take months in sensitivity studies. You know the problem statement for machine learning impedance inversion. And if you don't, there is a very good video on the channel that talks about it in great details. Machine learning inversion is mapping seismic trace information to the impedance log. And then we are training the network where we have wells. And then predicting impedance at each trace in the whole survey. First, let's take a quick look at the dataset that was used to train the network. It is an open source project. Here we are talking about Tierpod Dome dataset. The data can be downloaded from SAG wiki site. By the way, that website has tons of seismic information. Some of them come with whale data and interpretation. Back to the Tupod dataset. The seismic data has already been converted into depth domain and matched with whale logs. Some wells were left out because they did not have enough depth range or velocity and density logs. They want to teach the network about these wells so it can connect the seismic trace with well impedance data. All right. Let's start by figuring out which architecture is better for our task. This small competition has only three architectures. The first one, known as convolutional neural networks. It is pretty old and pretty simple realization. And the second competitor is the version of convolutional neural networks that's been slightly modified. Here, the architecture was improved by adding multi-scale blocks. It can pull out multi-scale features from seismic traces and calculate impedance with conventional layers. And for the last one in our rally, we have UNET. It is another multi-scale architecture that has an encoder and decoder parts helps in reconstruction of high resolution information. Here we can see how they've been trained. The training and validation laws are getting better as you train. The training laws for MSCNN and UNET is lower. Let's see how it lines up with what we see in the prediction. We can see that MSCNN and UNET gets better results than the conventional CNN. Pay attention to the depth window where CNN predictions are very smooth. It is hard to see the layers, especially the thin ones. Anyway, the results can definitely be improved further. And I set out to tell you about the Geoplot AI. Geoplot AI is a commercial product that provides AI-powered geoscience solutions. It is basically a machine learning toolbox that will definitely extend the reach of your conventional software. After completing more than 100 projects with customers, I am confident to say that Geoplot will increase the quality and speed of your structural interpretation workflow. Give it a try at the link below. Right now, we are going to improve each of these architectures by making the training laws more complex. Here we equip every architecture with perceptual laws. Why we do that is quite easy to understand. The perceptual laws will preserve fine scale information because the loss is computed by a special network. All of this work makes the fine scale fitting better. The inversion results of the free architecture with and without perception loss is here. This shows that perceptual loss makes it much easier to reconstruct high frequency information. But let's instead of messing around with the model backbone, try to improve inversion with generative adversarial networks. GANs is especially capable of generating images. In our case, we might estimate more realistic impedance sequences. As shown here, GAN has two main parts, the generator and the discriminator. Here are the results of the inversion. You can see that GANs recover more details than pure networks. I didn't talk about how machine learning compares to analytical methods like model-based inversion. But if you want to know about the comparison, I suggest you watch this video.